What's up guys? Well, I'm here at ProTech again because I broke my Bronco. Let's go. Well guys, as you know, I was doing a really cool suspension comparison video for YouTube. And while well, I ran into an incident, I was taking a corner too hard for YouTube and science purposes and I encountered what they call understeer on the dirt. Totally my fault, but it's okay. I hit a dirt berm. Nobody was hurt, thankfully, but I bashed in my front bumper. Now, I didn't get any video, unfortunately, except a little bit on the inside, but I have some pictures I'll show you and maybe some of the interior shots as well of what happened. Uh, but honestly, it was kind of boring, just understeer right into a dirt berm. And I'm here at ProTech. They're going to kind of assess the damage. I already got the alignment kind of fixed and we'll go from there, but stay tuned. So basically guys, my intercooler, dented. My frame horns, bent. My fenders, popped out. My bumper and skid plate, destroyed. So we're gonna get up on the lift here at ProTech, fix the alignment, and see what's busted. guys so we just got back from the alignment shop and good news Broncos okay on the alignment stuff they kind of got everything fixed out fixed a lot of stuff was really thrown off my my uh, toe was off by one and a half degrees which in the realm of alignments is huge so they're all able to dial it all in my rear alignment was thrown off my front alignment was thrown off they got it all back together so huge thanks to ProTech they never fail me now we got to do the next step. We got to fix these frame horns so I can mount my new bumper because I ordered a metal cloak front bumper for my Bronco. That way I can kind of get my winch accessible again because I have to put the lift and 37s on. It's just too much work to reach down there with the hidden winch and, and kind of disengage it for the clutch to pull the free spool the wire out. So with that metal cloak bumper, it's going to be really nice. Stay tuned for that video. But let's get the uh, frame horns checked out. All right, guys, we are here at OCD Fab, and big shout out to Jason from that shop. He's going to be helping me out on the Bronco today here at OCD Fab. And we got a special surprise because we we're replacing our old Rough Country bumper with something a little new, something a little more gold, if you know what I mean. So stick around to find out. Let's, let's show you what's going on. What we're doing right here is we're mocking up the bumper to kind of get an idea. Well, Jason's mocking up the bumper to kind of get an idea of where everything's going to lay. We got to replace this intercooler still that's hanging. And we got to find a location for these keen reservoirs because the old location is not going to work anymore, especially with the tires rubbing on them. So we're just mocking it all up for now and then uh, get kind of a sense of where everything lays. So all we had to do here is we had to cut off the hoop that goes on the base model, if you have the modular bumper, you don't have to touch it. But with the base bumper, the plastic one, you're just going to have to grind off that hoop in order to get the skid pan to clear. Alright, first step on getting this metal clip bumper on after we fixed everything else is to throw these, uh, these side pieces on. They just come here, use the factory hardware to bolt up, pre-bolt each horn, really easy. 
takes two minutes guys next you're going to take this filler cap right here it just bolts on two bolts and that's going to be for your skid plate just slides right up in there and then put these suckers on what are these called d-ring mounts yeah d-ring mounts recovery points either way where you tug on that's where you're tugging all right after getting those wings on there and putting these uh, recovery points into those two bolts real quick you're gonna put the skid plate on before you put the centerpiece skid plate just held on bolt here bolt here a bolt through here to this and then it's gonna be a bolt down there as well and that's it make sure you use two people for this and uh, he's working on a bolt alrighty well we got the centerpiece on you just gotta pop some bolts in there pop some bolts in there I forgot this one goes on after you put the centerpiece on and uh, yeah. make sure your winch is already dirty when you put it in so people know you off-road looks good I like it all right guys we got the bumper finished up the last part was just running that wiring through underneath really really cool stuff Jason did a good job on this overall I'm really really happy with the fit and finish this ended up working out even with the JKS it did knock this down just a hair like 3 16 which made the bolts lining up quite a pain we had to use a jack mallet that kind of stuff this location for the reservoir is fantastic Fantastic. It is I can't get any better than that. Nothing's touching. Nothing's rubbing. It's all in the perfect spot tucked away out of sight You can still reach down and adjust it really easy I'm Gonna put The piece right here still got to add that and then this is a spot for a 2x3 pod light flush mount One on each side and then I'm probably gonna end up with a project X right here to finish it off Otherwise, it's done and it looks pretty darn good if I say so myself and then as far as this goes I didn't really notice any sagging with the extra pounds from this bumper my old bumper is 37 pounds this is about a hundred 120 pounds and closer to 110 and then down here with the icon a diff cover skid plate we had to just bolt this up underneath that fit no problems so if you're getting an icon skid plate which I recommend that uh, works just well the only thing I would hit these I like this flush mount right here I wish they would have kept that for these as well I'm not sure why they didn't I'm gonna see if I can get those swapped out just, it just doesn't look right to me that's gonna be it huge thanks to Jason from OCD fab for helping me out with this install or I guess I helped him he did most of the work so we're gonna get out on the trail we're gonna go hit the Rubicon tomorrow with Jeep Jamboree I'm not allowed to bring the Bronco but we're gonna have a fun time and I'll see you guys in the next one